Okay, you guys gotta check this out. Today, I felt like making a random video. Randomly shot a tweet to Gary Vaynerchuk. If you don't know who that is, go check him out, at Gary V. I sent him a random tweet, said, Gary, feel like making a video today, give me a topic. Responded literally within, what, what's the timestamp? 12 minutes ago? Thir one minute he responded, eSports. So, I guess I'm making a video about eSports. And that is hilarious because I was just watching his Breakfast Club interview yesterday, last night, like one in the morning. Watch this interview where he says this. Paid so I can get money to go get buy browsers, go buy baseball cards, then open it, then trade them, make more money. That, that, my hobby is being a businessman. Now look, look how amazing the world is. Do you know how many kids right now are making real bank on Twitch, playing video games all day? Yeah. So like, look, if your whole life's about smoking weed and drinking Mountain Dew and playing video games, you can make money. Yeah. Because yeah. the world put it in favor. <laughs> like, look up, like, this is back to why I get so mad. Esports it is. Okay, I just did a quick search for highest paid gamers. And they have like the top 15 here. Look at this guy. $455,000 from 43 tournaments playing Dota 2. These guys are fucking playing some game I've never even heard of. Here's uh, Jay Dong playing StarCraft and it made over 519,000. And that must have been the top guy. Number one, Jay Dong, 519,000 from 52 tournaments. Um, it's just crazy. I mean, six figures from, I mean, not even low six figures. I mean, they're over, they're halfway to, this guy's halfway to a million dollars. Just playing a freaking video game. So not only are people making money playing video games by winning prizes and tournaments and whatnot through just streaming on Twitch from ads. I don't know if you know what Twitch is, but Twitch is a, uh, you can stream your game, your live playing any video game and people have to watch ads to come in and watch you play. I play a little bit of video games, a little bit of Halo. Definitely don't make any money doing it and with starting a new business, it's hard for me to even find time to play that anymore. But, um, so you can make money through one, streaming on Twitch, you get enough people following you for one reason or another, and you're gonna make money off the ads that they put on your stream. Two, if you're good enough, you can get into tournaments and win here over $100,000 in prize money. And then on top of that, people are getting sponsorship deals, which is just crazy sponsorships. I mean, shit, those can be, you make more money off sponsorships than anything, really. For those of you that don't know what esports are, it's basically playing video games for a living. It's FIFA, Madden, Call of Duty, Halo. There's tournaments for all this stuff. There's local tournaments. If you're in a small town, I mean, you could put together a tournament and go ahead and start your own tournament. I'm sure there's other fucking people out there playing video games. There's millions of people that play those games. You can find them all right online. There's definitely money to be made in this. And I know that's what Gary meant when he said esports, because just from watching his interview the other day, uh, talking about ways to make money, I mean, he's always talking about it. Uh, I'm not as outspoken as Gary. And I don't make videos about it, but I've always been about it too. You know, growing up, I delivered newspapers from age 10 to age 21. Burn CDs, burn DVDs all through high school. Now I know that's illegal, but you know, back then you're young, dumb, whatever. Did that, I installed car stereos, install people's subwoofers, um, buy stuff randomly, sell it on eBay. I've been doing that stuff since I was 10 years old. And uh, nothing was ever really given to me, you know what I mean? I had a family. Uh, you know, there's three siblings and we never had a ton of money. My parents always argued over money, declared, they've declared bankruptcy before. And, uh, you know, I learned early if I wanted something, I had to go make the money to buy what I wanted. I remember when I was 11 years, 10, 11 years old, uh, I had been delivering newspapers for a little while, saved up some money and I went and bought my first stereo system, a nice little receiver 
my dad went with me, helped me get in some big old speakers from Circuit City. I loved music and uh, I was in heaven. None of my friends had any kind of system like that. Okay, so this is interesting. Just looking at random statistics. In 2013, an estimated 71.5 million people worldwide watched competitive gaming. I would have never guessed that. That is crazy. No wonder people are making money doing this. I mean, if you have the attention of that many people, there's always a way to make money. And, you know, a lot of times people ask me, friends and stuff, that want to try to get attention, you know, so what if I get followers, blah, 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 then how do I make money with those followers? And there's a million ways, once you have people's attention, that you can make money. It's about getting the followers because... There's just, it's, 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 it can be hard to get followers. You have to spend time and engage and talk to people and give them a reason to want to follow you. And if you don't have that reason, you're shit out of luck. But 71.5 million worldwide, it says approximately 85% are male and 15% are female. 60% of the viewers are between the age of 18 and 34. That is very surprising to me because I would think the people watching these would be kids, young kids, high schoolers, you know, under the age of 18, definitely. But 18 to 34 is the 60% of the viewers, and that that's crazy. I would have never guessed that, ever. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go jump on my Xbox. Let's get on Twitch and see who currently has the most people following them, the most people watching them play video games. And I'm going to ask them. If, I think you can talk to them. I'm going to ask them if they're making any friggin' money. I'm going to see what ads come to me and analyze this just a little bit deeper. Let's go check it out. All right, I'm firing up my Xbox here. We're gonna see who's on Twitch. It's the middle of the day. I think it's a school day, so it might not have as many people on it, but we'll see what we can come up with here. Maybe try to talk to some people, see what, uh, see what they think. There we go, Twitch. Find out some more information here. See what we're working with. This guy right here, what is he playing? He's playing, what is this? I don't even know what game this is. He's got 1,854 viewers. Let's go check this out. Rated T for team. Oh, here's the advertisement. So obviously they're gonna advertise a video game to somebody. 1,772 follower viewers right now. Seven, 1,700 viewers right now live watching this. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Who is this? God damn. Come here. Who is this guy? Bacon Donut? Playing this game. I don't even know what this game is. It's not even good graphics. It looks shitty. It's like an old Nintendo game or something. This dude's not responding to my message, but I just noticed this. This is a marathon to donate for St. Jude's. They're raising money for charity and making money. Um, I mean, look at this. This guy, here's his, here's his gamer, Bacon Donut, tastiest gamer on Twitch TV. He's got 444,539 followers. Total views over 16 million. He didn't tell me how much he's making, but he's gotta be doing good. Playing Counter-Strike. Oh man, okay. This guy has 105,000 viewers right now. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, what is this? This looks like some sort of tournament or something. Okay, funny side note, when I was younger, I said I didn't really play video games ever, but when I was younger, I did play Counter-Strike with buddies all the time. We used to have LAN parties. I even, we went to a tournament, before tournaments were even popular, in St. Louis and competed and we got second. That, uh... I completely forgot about that, even getting into this. Now we're watching this. This must be, this is some sort of pro league, so that's obviously why 
they uh, have so many viewers, but look at this. You can see here, advertising, giveaway, you can win stuff on here. I mean, it is a big money business. They got scoreboard, breakdown, tournament brackets. I mean, look at the chat popping off. When you think about targeting with marketing and stuff like that, I mean, you can do it on Facebook, yeah, but the, in this, I mean, anybody watching this is a gamer. So you're gonna, I just watched, I just saw an ad for uh, the new uh, Seth Rogen movie, Neighbors, The New Neighbors. It's a total stoner movie. I mean, I mean, obviously it's, it's still funny or whatever, but in general, Seth Rogen, you, people know he smokes weed, all that shit. So it's funny the, what they're targeting. And so far I've seen an ad for another video game. I've seen an ad for a funny kind of stoner movie, if you want to call it that. And I'm seeing ads for computer components and uh, graphics cards, keyboards, and stuff like that. So they they are reaching the right crowd. If you're spend if you're a company that sells stuff like that, obviously they're no dummy because they're using this outlet to promote two gamers, two people that sit at home and smoke weed and play video games. I mean, not all video gamers are like that, but you know, they kind of, yeah, Gary said it in his thing, so I'm kind of running with it. Anyway, they, it's, it's crazy. And you, it's hard to believe that today, in today's age, you can make money just playing video games. I mean, how great is that? I mean, we have the internet. You can do anything on the internet. The people on Twitch, they might not be the best fucking gamer. Maybe they're just funny. I mean, look at PewDiePie. That dude is just saying crazy shit on YouTube and he is being followed by millions and millions of people. He's probably making millions of dollars off of it. He, I mean, he does other stuff too now, but I, I'm pretty sure, I don't know his whole history, but I'm pretty sure it's primarily gaming, talking funny, going through, narrating over games. And there are millions of people on YouTube that do that and there's they have some of the biggest followers. I mean, go right now, type in a search, biggest YouTube earners. And I've done it before. I haven't done it recently, but I've done it before. And a lot of them are gamers that are either voicing over, doing Minecraft. Minecraft is huge with kids and voicing over this stuff. People watch it. The kid, kids watch it. They want to, they learn, they think it's funny. There's just all kinds of different ways you can, different ways to come at this, whether it's being good at gaming, whether it's being funny, whether it's, I don't know, playing a weird ass game like that last channel we were watching. I don't even know what that game was. I've never seen that and I feel like I've seen most games, but uh, there's ways to do it. I mean, find your niche, find a way to do it and make it happen. Look at this. 1.4 million followers, total views, 150, almost 156 million. Now I don't know if this is, I think this is all live. Um, I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that this is live right now, these guys talking. I mean, look at this, it's basically turned into a whole talk show. This is like, this is like the friggin' ESPN Sports Center, you know, of, of regular basketball, baseball, football sports, but, it's video games. It blows my mind. Okay, so to sum up everything we just talked about, if you're gonna make money in esports, you gotta, you can't just play the games. I mean, there's money to be made, obviously. You can make money through Twitch, through going to tournaments. But start a tournament. If you live in a small town and there is no game tournaments, there are people there playing games. Start a tournament. If you start a tournament, take your little cut out of it. Even if you don't freaking win, start it, get it going. People will play. If you get good enough, you can get sponsorships. Uh, being funny, get on YouTube, voiceover. I mean, it's flooded doing that, but if you get your niche, you find your little a little something that might attract people's attention, that's fine, make it happen. I just tried Twitch for the first time ever. I broadcast on it for over an hour and I had no viewers. Now given I didn't have my connect so people couldn't see my face so they weren't as enticed to watch. I also did it during the day when there's probably not quite as many people, but from the footage you saw there are people watching. 
millions of people watching. So if that's what you love, figure out how to make it happen. Use social media, leverage it, contact people, reach out to other gamers, get on there, talk to other people streaming, figure it out, make it happen, hustle. Just get out there and hustle. Don't, if, if that's what you wanna do, do it. Make it happen. The only person that can control your life is you. So do what you gotta do. You only have one life. Go get it, go hustle. Never stop going for your goals. Make it happen.